Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Rainbow Colors, a show where we bring together international students of the European University of Lipke. This is a platform to share ideas, share cultures, and also just get to know each other. My name is Tisselele Maslela from the Kingdom of Eswatini, better known as Swaziland, and I will be your host for today. Today in studio, we have two wonderful guests who I'd like you to meet, and I'd like them to introduce themselves to us. Hello. Hello. Um, my name is Mzwandi Lope. Yes. I'm 20 years old, um, also from Swaziland. Of course, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell by the neck piece that you're having right there representing, right? Yeah, Swaziland is a really um, a, a country rich in, in culture, so we mm -hmm. take culture very seriously. That's very interesting. What are you studying? I am currently studying civil engineering. Okay, also yeah. in studio today, we have the president of the International Students Club that I'd like you to meet. Please introduce yourself, Carolina. Uh, hi, um, my name is Carolina. Mm -hmm. I'm from Czech Republic. I'm actually the only one in here. And I'm studying international relations, and it's my third year. You're the only one from the Czech Republic? Yes. I wonder how that feels, because I know as the group from Swaziland, we have quite a big group and we do come together and celebrate maybe birthdays and everything. How does it feel being the only one? Are you ever lonely or how is it for you? It was a struggle at the beginning to be honest because when you come to a country where you literally have no one to mm. talk to, everybody speaks different language, they have a little bit different cultural background. Yeah. But that was maybe the reason why I decided to be the main person in terms of International Student Club. Of course now it's my third year so I got used to it and yeah. I'm more or less friends with everyone so I, I don't mind where is someone from and I'm not a homesick anymore <laughs> so I'm, I'm doing fine now. Okay, speaking of coming from different countries now we all have stories to tell. For example, for me coming to this university wasn't much of a struggle because as, in as much as I didn't really know what I wanted to do, I knew I had to do something. So Mzwandile, can you please tell us your story about how you actually got here? And how was it for you, the whole experience, coming to Cyprus, how was it? Uh, coming, coming here was a bit of a struggle for me. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, wasn't, it wasn't that easy. Um, before, before here, I was in the field of medicine. I was okay. studying medicine and uh, just did my diploma. And uh, I guess it was a question of passion other than um, social status. So mm -hmm. coming here was a, was a bit of a struggle. But finally, I came through, and exactly. uh, the reception here was really, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I, I had people welcoming me from the from the airport, yeah. and uh, also when I got here, I had people help me up with the registration and everything. Uh, academically, I could say this place is really superb in terms of um, accreditation and affiliation, mm -hmm. standard-wise. And uh, socially, it's really, really warm. The people here are really w um, welcoming. Though we have a language barrier problem. Sometimes, but it's a, definitely. It's a bit of yeah. a pickle, but yeah. Mm -hmm. We have Google Translator now. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been great, actually. Speaking of a reception, I'd really like to congratulate the orientation team. They actually do an excellent job. Taking students from the airport and just welcoming them to the university gives them a sense of comfort and a sense of being welcomed to this university. So, Carolina, how was it for you getting to the airport and coming to Cyprus? Finally, your life was about to begin. How was it for you? Uh, the thing was that everything was very fast because I wasn't really planning to come to Cyprus. Oh, okay. I had a little bit different plans. And then, you know, life goes on, something goes the right way, something yeah. goes the wrong way. Life happens. So, actually, it was very hectic. I came very late in the, like, very late in the night, almost very early in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, I didn't even have a chance to look around. I was just waiting to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And the morning after, actually, as, um, as you said, the welcoming team, the orientation, it was everything going very well. Mm -hmm. So I felt very welcomed and it made my start much easier. Definitely. Now you've been on this island for three years and your degree is almost over. How does it feel after being here for three years? How did you see other students being welcomed to the school? And how is it for you making friends? Because there's a lot of international students. How many exactly do we have? I'm not sure. I think it's around three to four thousand. Three to it's four thousand international students. Now that is a it's big number. every semester. So yeah, yeah. So how does it feel being the president of the 
International Students Club. Now, I'm very excited that we actually have a woman representing us as <laughs> a, a leader, and I'm very excited to, to, to actually know that it's actually a woman doing this job. How's the job going, and how does it feel, actually, because you have to interact with a lot of people? Um, the International Student Club should work like a bridge between the academic yeah. or the administrative things mm -hmm. and the students. So uh, the first months were very difficult because it's something new. Now, as we said, our university is very diverse. So yeah. each of the nations have a different demands, different problems. Then you have the individual problems yeah. and then you have the free time that you sh should supposed to fill with some activities. Mm -hmm. So it is a difficult work, but to be honest, I enjoy it because I make friends during my work. Yeah, yes, you On do. a daily basis, I make new contacts. I meet people that are extremely talented. Mm -hmm. For example, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or you. people that, are, that have a very interesting story to tell. Mm -hmm. So it's very enriching and I, I like it so much. Yes. Now, Mzwandila, you say that you were in the field of medicine before <coughs> and now you're actually studying engineering. How was that um, gap? Because you said it was your passion, right? How are you finding it so far? Uh, I'm actually enjoying myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, civil engineering has always been something that I've always wanted to do. Yes. Um, but uh, due to circumstances, <coughs> After my, my high school, I had to um, opt for my second option, which was medicine. But okay. uh, being granted this opportunity was really, really great for me. So you can say that civil engineering was your first love? Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> that is very interesting. Now, are you part of any clubs? Because we do know that we have so many clubs in the school. So are you a member of any of those clubs? Uh, yes, actually, I just recently joined um, Civil Engineering Club. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. It's a, it's a really interesting group because mm -hmm. uh, one thing I like about this place, um, hence the, the name of this program, Rainbow, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of people from all races, from all parts of the world. Coming and, and together. We yeah. just come together to share ideas. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to Civil Engineering, it's a very flexible um, occupation. So different ideas from different people really meshes out really nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Carolina, as the president of the International Students Club, can you tell us how many clubs do we have? Under the International Student Club, we have six uh, clubs that are running okay. throughout the whole school year. And then we have various things like this semester we're going to do the sport league mm, okay. and some academic seminars but stably we have like six clubs that are running. So there's actually a lot to do at EUL. Anyone can join any club, and I'm pretty sure everyone has a slot to be filled in. So now, what do you guys do on weekends? Zwandile? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, this is an island, yeah? Yes. So it's actually my first time being in, in, in Europe, mm -hmm. let alone an island, being in Europe. Mm. So, and uh, I've realized this place has a lot of restaurants. Ooh, okay. <laughs> we have a foodie uh, in the hub. <laughs> back at home, food is something really serious. We take it seriously. And, yes. and the diversity when it comes to the dishes here, it's mm -hmm. really interesting. So during weekends, I just go around checking out the different menus they have here. Mm. And obviously checking out the sea because, well. It's a very beautiful a side. Very I like the fact that our science. location is just by the ocean. Beautiful, right? Very convenient. So you say that you're a foodie. So far, what can you tell us about your favorite dish here in Cyprus? Something that you actually enjoy eating? Chicken wrap. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I believe that we all love that. wraps. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> the chicken wrap with a little zest of chili. It's Ooh, really nice. Okay, yeah. and you, Carolina? I don't really think I have a favorite favorite, but I really like Adana. Ooh, okay, okay. And what do you do on weekends? Well, throughout the week, I'm... I'm busy, so I'm <laughs> actually trying to catch up with my friends during the weekend mm -hmm. and then having some time for myself. So I won't lie, I love to sleep during the weekend. <laughs> we all like resting, or I can say. It's just like reading a book or just chill. But I'm, I'm trying to be with my friends mm -hmm. to, have, to talk about something different than the ISC or mm -hmm. a school thing. Yeah. 
So how is it like balancing school life and being the president of the International Students Club? And then also you also have to balance your own life as well. How are you finding it? I feel like you have a lot on your hands. It's, uh, it's a very difficult task sometimes because yeah. I constantly need to plan. Mm. I wasn't used to it, but now a diary is like my favorite book because <laughs> I write literally everything To there. plan everything accordingly. Um, yeah. But, you know, the, the thing is that Cyprus, the, the atmosphere in Cyprus is just so chilled. Like nobody is so in hurry. Mm. Like if I miss something, people don't really, like they, they don't complain so much like they would back home. Mm -hmm. So, but then on the other side you need to make sure you meet the deadlines at exactly least. So it's difficult but I, I enjoy it actually being in hurry it's just become my lifestyle mm -hmm. and you Mzondile, how do you balance school life I mean engineering most of the students I always meet they're always doing engineering and most of them are in the library all the time do you get time to yourself uh, to be honest um, engineering is a very demanding um, program mm -hmm. But you create your own time. If you work your schedule really nice and just slot in um, time for yourself, mm -hmm. it really works up nice. Yeah. But the, you have to put in the work because it's really demanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now I can say balancing school life and just varsity life in general is a bit tricky. I must say that is quite tricky. Yeah. Mm, it kind of is and studying engineering, oh my word. Anyway, exams are coming up, and I'm pretty sure that everyone's been going to the library, studying, and just making time to study. How often are you guys in the library? <laughs> <laughs> well, to be, to be honest, I, I really go to the library. Okay, so how do you study? <laughs> I, I prefer studying at home. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I figure the library is very serious. Mm, uh, so you like a I, calm environment for Yeah, I need, I need to relax. I need to be comfortable yeah. in my own space. I need to be able to think properly because I, I need my mind to be flexible mm. and just the library is just too quiet for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now yeah. Carolina, can you give us any study tips? I mean, we have to study and it's getting serious. <laughs> Guys, it's really getting serious. Yeah, right. Um, I think it depends from the personality. It's as, as you said, like some people like calm places. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some people mm -hmm. actually like study with music. Like I do study with music. You I study with music. I cannot imagine like sitting in the room, like in a quiet place, room, yeah. Or yeah. even like <laughs> library where I feel like ev I feel like everybody's watching me. Like <laughs> there's mm -hmm. so many people. So you just need to find the most comfortable way and really focus. Because mm. we tend to be distracted by all the social media and friends. Mm. So you need to put it aside for a while and really focus. I can say it as a third year student that uh -huh. there is a time where you really need to say to everyone, like, leave me alone. I need to study. Yeah. I feel like we all have to pull up our socks and just get in the gear and start studying. Guys, exams are coming up. But anyway, on another note, after exams, final exams, it's summer. So guys, do you have any plans for the summer? I mean, summer's gonna be nice and warm, the weather's gonna be beautiful, we have the ocean right here. Anything that you're gonna be doing during the summer? Sightseeing. Ooh, okay, there's a lot yeah. of places to explore, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a really beautiful place and uh, I, I think, I don't know every, everywhere so far. Uh-huh. Yeah, so after, after everything, I think I'm gonna have time to just go see every, every part of this this um, island mm -hmm. yeah. and Carolina it's summer you're a lady you have to have beauty hacks somehow <laughs> what do you do to stay this lovely during summer the thing is that um, during summer I'm trying to stick with the routines I have mm -hmm. like, I love eating fruit during summer like <laughs> yeah. I have a fruit diet during summer I don't oh, really okay. eat heavy food uh, keeping hydrated and then um, it's the perfect time to surround yourself with friends, have fun, mm -hmm. go yes, out. Yes, definitely. And it gives you this fresh air that you actually need for the upcoming fall, especially here in Cyprus, the weather changed so quickly. Yeah. So yeah. you need to really take the advantage and enjoy every second of the summer. Okay. Now, here's a free tip I could give to anyone. Drink a lot of water. It's going to be very warm, so guys, please stay hydrated. 
My name is Titele Lemaslila and I was your host. See you next time on another episode of Let's Talk Rainbow Colors. Goodbye.